Don, welcome to the Prisoner Wine oh, Company. Thank you. How you doing? Good to see you. It's off season for basketball, but being at the Prisoner, I'm back in training. I was planning on drinking every barrel in here. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not the expert in, course, in the wine. Yeah. You know, so this is for me. I'm trying to be around a brand, be with a brand that symbolizes exactly what I'm about. I think the biggest thing, what intrigues me, is bringing attention to social injustice in the world through wine. I think that's one that's just near and dear to me. So when did you start drinking Prisoner Wine? I want to say it was two years ago. Okay. I went to a, an event that a friend of mine was having, and from there on, like I was like, man, this is... This is the NBA Summer League? I think it was Summer League in Vegas. Yeah, in yeah, Vegas, yeah. yeah. And ever since then, it's been in nonstop in my, in my house. I love them, my family loves them, my friends love them. What we've done is that we've broken out the components that make up this wine, and then we'll taste you those. When we taste, the, the first thing we always do is we sniff. So we want to swirl no, that. See, I'm not good at it yeah. this way. I do it this way. This guy was showing me up doing it this way. I, he falls over <laughs> and knocks over. Um, this is 20 years of swirl, you know. Yeah, very true. You guys are a little more experienced than I am, for sure. <laughs> so we like to smell the wine and try to pick out, like, what are the uh, aromatics. How long would it take for me to be smell it? and say, okay, blackberries, like that, here we go. I mean, obviously, this is what, it's, this is what you do, so it's a little it's different. Repetition, yeah. and just keep doing it. So I think we should put something together. When it comes to wine, little change can change the entire outcome, and that's kind of what basketball is and what sport is. All a minor tweak can change the outcome of everything. Maybe it'd be interesting to try a little less cab and a little bit more Zinfandel. Did I nail it? Almost. It's not even close. Oh, that Zen is so good. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. How you doing, boss? Hey, uh, Leland. Don, nice Pleasure to meet you. you. Appreciate Welcome you having me. Wine Company. Yes, sir. Definitely glad to be here and, and learn more. Now I'm noticing why things taste different after I eat each different food. So if I'm eating potato and we added the sauce, we added the garlic, this is what to expect. It does bring out a touch of tannins for me um, in the wine, um, but there's no acid. So I think you can find a better french fry. I'm about to say, yeah, I don't think so. You, you put a lot of, a lot of people um, french fries to shame with this one. This one, this, yeah. is, um, this is really good. It's a great mixture too. There's a lot that goes behind the scenes that I didn't realize. You know, when I came out here, that was what I was trying to learn, and I think it's intrigued me even more so to come out here and spend more time and get to know more about what's, what's going on. I'm an expert now, clearly, so. Yes, um, you are an expert. <laughs>